second grade version 0.2 has the ability to vCarve text. To enable vCarving, you select the vCarve option in the lower right hand corner, which enables the Calculate vCarve button. Clicking this button will calculate the vCarve toolpaths. After the toolpath calculation is complete, areas that will have material removed are indicated by black, and the toolpath is indicated by white lines. The options associated with vCarving can be found under Settings, vCarve Settings. The first two vCarve options are the bit angle and bit diameter. The bit angle determines how deep the cutter needs to go into the material to achieve the prescribed cut width. The v-bit diameter limits how deep the cutter is allowed to penetrate into the material. The next few options affect how F-Engrave calculates the toolpath. The inside corner and outside corner angles tell F-Engrave which angles to interpret as sharp angles. F-Engrave will take extra steps to make sure those angles are as sharp as possible and are not truncated or rounded. The sub-step length determines at what interval F-Engrave calculates the toolpath. This greatly affects the size of the G-code output and the time required to calculate the toolpath. It's a good idea to start with a large number here and work your way down until you get an acceptable toolpath. The outside corner substep determines at what angle F engrave steps around corners greater than the outside corner angle prescribed above. As F engrave is calculating toolpaths, it is calculating the shortest distance to line segments. The check all or current character only option determines whether line segments in the current character are checked or if line segments in all of the characters specified are checked. As long as F-Engrave is engraving the internal features of a character, the character only option should be checked. If you use the flip normals option, which is the next option we'll discuss, the check all option should be selected to ensure that F-Engrave isn't violating the space of adjacent characters. Outline font characters are generally described by loops running in the clockwise direction. F-Engrave uses this convention to, by default, carve just the internal features of a character. If a font character is defined in the opposite direction or counterclockwise, to carve the inside of that character we'd need to use the flip normals option. Additionally, the flip normals option could be used if we wanted to carve the external features of a character rather than the internal features. The final option in the vCarve settings dialog is the plot during vCarve calculation option. This will determine whether F-Engrave updates the display during the vCarve toolpath calculation to show its progress or not. Now let's see how it works. I'm using Liberation Fonts I downloaded from a Fedora website that's uh, actually linked off of my website. Let's choose a more interesting font here. And I can see down here that 10.7 is a little bit bigger than the piece of wood that I'm going to use. So I'm going to get this back down to 95, which will bring me to 10.2. That'll be good. Now I'm going to need to calculate the V-carve toolpath. Once that toolpath is shown on the screen, I can then save the G-code file. and we can go out to the workshop and see how it turns out.